um, as a medical doctor you can also become a biomedical scientist and of course as a biomedical scientist you can become a medical doctor hey guys welcome to my channel if it's your first time here you're very much welcome or if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back to watch my videos so for the newbies here um, basically on here we create content about life in the UK as an international student and also as a biomedical science if any of those topic interests you um, or any of those contents is a uh, content of interest I would love for you to click the subscribe button to join my family and also always return back to check out my new videos I also have a tons of videos um, down the line so you can go back check any previous video to see if there's anyone that you find informative or entertaining okay and yeah let's just get into the video of the day so today I'm going to be comparing two professions namely um, medicine and biomedical science as you know or you may not know i am a biomedical scientist and i'm currently schooling in the united kingdom i'm doing my master's in the united kingdom yeah so um i'll be comparing the profession being a medical doctor versus being a med biomedical scientist or med lab scientist which one do you prefer which one is better for you i'll be using um some few points to compare and to contrast so that it could probably help you in making a choice as to which one you want to go for or if you find yourself in one for you to just basically have an idea i hope you find this um video um informative and i hope you enjoy it if you did please click the light like button at the end after watching it and you can also share all right so without further ado let's get into the video guys so the first the very first point i will be addressing is the nature of the job um, if you're a biomedical scientist you basically are going to have to um, deal with patient samples not really not necessarily patients so most times you might not even get to see a patient like um, you may not get to have a uh, face-to-face contact with a patient because we basically work with their samples so most of the time if the pa if it's in a hospital situation and the patient is on the ward their samples are probably collected by, are, are collected by the doctors and are sent to the laboratory you know for their testing and um, ag analyzing and then we just send the results the doctor gets it back and they continue the work that is what biomedical science basically is all about we rarely get to see patients and then if it's not um, a patient on the ward if it's an outpatient usually they are sent to the lab for their test and you know they come they usually just end at the phlebotomy because the phlebotomist is the one who is going to like um get their sample and they'll send it inside the lab not to say that labs um biomedical scientists cannot collect samples or don't know how to like draw withdraw samples from um, an individual like blood samples and all of that but most of the time uh due to the nature of the job we don't get to do that often but whereas um the doctors they get to have face-to-face -face contact with the patient like they interact with the patient they see the patient they examine the patient and all of that so they have a direct contact with the patient the patient knows the doctors and you usually because of that you know the person who interacts with the patients or the relatives are the doctors and the nurses and you know the lab scientist is kind of like a silent profession because most of the time they don't even know what is going on they don't even most of the time they might not even know that their samples were sent to the lab or anything like they didn't they don't know that there was any lab involved and because of that you know the biomedical science is a bit kind of silent because we do not get to have like face-to-face -face interaction with the patients but whereas in medicine i mean of course the doctors they see the patients they see tons and tons of patients every day so that is like one difference so yeah if you if you think you're going to prefer to see patients and have interactions with them you know the relatives and all of that uh biomedical science might not be for you you might want to consider um medicine or nursing or any of those professions the second point is still going to be based on the nature of their jobs so basically the medical doctor has a role in um treating and examining patients you know when the patients come they lay their complaints to the doctor the doctor physically examines them sees like their medical state you know and tries to um, make a diagnosis 
and um you know he 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 had he or she has a couple of you know ideas of diseases that might be wrong but then the biomedical sciences doesn't treat but rather diagnosis you know gives research um does research to be able to confirm diagnosis of a disease so let me restate the biomed the biomedical sciences carries out research to a diagnosis um, to be sure or to confirm diagnosis. Meanwhile, the medical doctor treats and examines the patient. So um, yeah, these two, these two roles actually come together to, um, to have, they both come together for a specific purpose, which is for the wellness of a patient, for a patient to get better. You know, while one does the examination and the treatment, the other one gives um, valuable, does valuable research to be able to diagnose and confirm diagnosis. So they both work hand in hand to make the patient get better, but they just have like um, separate roles on how they, they help the patient get better. Next point I'll be talking about is the duration of study. Generally, we all know that it takes more time, um, more number of years to become a medical doctor than to become a biomedical scientist. And um, basically, like in countries like Africa in Nigeria, for to do biomedical science, you just need five years. If it's a five year course, but for medicine, it's probably um, seven years. Some institutions take take more than that and even in some countries like the uk the us you don't nobody just leaves um high school and goes to study medicine you must pro you must have done uh, completed a bachelor in a science a, a bachelor's degree in a science course and then after that you now do like a four-year um program mbbs program so md that's called i think it's called md so generally it takes a longer time for you to become a biomedical sci a, a medical doctor than it takes for you to become a biomedical scientist and of course because it takes more time it means that the content of the knowledge um in in medicine is obviously going to be more because they are going to like you know have they have more time so they're like in depth in depth in depth of like so many branches of medicine while biomedical science basically just focuses on the biomedical aspect of medicine um i think medicine medical doctors during training they teach them like a couple of other branches all joined together in medicine so it takes a longer time to become a medical doctor and it's 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 i feel it's my own opinion i think it's more um compacted with extensive knowledge than biomedicine i also like to add that um, as a medical doctor you can also become a biomedical scientist and of course as a biomedical scientist you can become a medical doctor and i will tell you how so um basically you can do um, biomedical science in your undergrad like your first degree could be biomedical science you become a biomedical scientist um we like i said most of these countries like the uk the us before you do medicine you probably have to have had um a bio a bachelor's degree so some people use biomedicine as their bachelor's degree biomedical science as their bachelor's degree and then they now go for that to do medicine um at the end of the day you're going to be a biomedical scientist and a medical doctor at the same time it will just take you a very long number of years like over 10 11 12 13 years um and we have people who do that i've seen a couple of people on here who like did biomedicine as biomedical science as their first course degree and then they furthered it with um by with medicine um and also we also have people who did mbbs as their first degree especially from nigeria and then went for that to do like masters in um medical science biomedical science so at the end of the day they have they are medical doctors and they're also biomedical scientists so all i'm trying to say is that these two these two professions first of all i feel like they both they both come together for a particular purpose which is um for the wellness of the patient to make a patient better to treat you know diagnose and you know help treat um a patient who is sick and basically they are intertwined you can be the both of them if you want but then like what's the point of being the both of them right like you could just be one and then you be happy and 
you basically enjoy your life okay <laughs> anyways um yeah i hope this video was found useful to someone out there and i hope you might be able to like make a choice on which and which to do um if you're if you're um if you're interested and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye